Oh my God, what the hell is on your wrist, son? What is that giant thing? What is that? Is that the Fort Knox Gold Depository? Is that a ship anchor? Did uh, some kind of a flying saucer or UFO uh, fall from the sky and land on your wrist? No, that's not what it is. Let's get some light, son. What's on your wrist is a compensation watch. What is a compensation watch, friend? A compensation watch is a watch, usually of an oversized variety, that compensates for your lack of manliness. You have no manliness. You have failed to be a man, and you reveal it, you expose it, you advertise your complete absence of manliness by wearing this disgusting grotesquerie. So what is manliness, and why do you lack it? Well, manliness is defined by two pillars. There are two pillars that hold up manliness. You lack those two pillars. Pillar number one. You learn this from watching the, the beloved Cesar Milan, the dog whisperer. And you teach your dog to be calm, just as you can teach your children to be calm, by being calm and confident under pressure. You, sir, are not calm and confident. Let me tell you something. I am so not calm and confident that I yesterday I didn't want to be my usual aggressive road rage self to work, so I forced myself to relax and drive slowly and be courteous and be nice in my car. And for 15 minutes in my car, from going uh, home to work, I was very nice and courteous. When I got to work and got out of my car, I was exhausted. I wanted to take a nap. You know why? Suppressing the aggressive jackass inside of me was totally exhausting. It was so contrary to my nature that, uh, that I, had, I just wanted to take a nap. It's so damn hard to be nice. You, sir, are a failed man. Enjoy your compensation watch, dude. Give another example of how I failed to be a man. Uh, in this regard, one of the great pillars not uh, losing your cool under pressure. When my children, I have twin daughters, when they fuss, it takes my wife two hours before she gets riled up. How long do you think it takes me to get riled up when my daughters get fussy? About half a second, all of my cells in my body, in about a half a second, are saturated with adrenaline, losing it, completely failing as a man. Sir, Enjoy your compensation watch, because that's all you're getting. What's the second pillar of masculinity that you've completely failed? We call it self-reliance. Have you ever been to Home Depot, and you see some dude, he's wearing a tool belt, and he's just loading his cart with all this home building materials? He can do everything. He can do his electrical. He can do his plumbing. He can put in the floors. He can, he can paint. He is a man. He is self-reliant. Friends, I have failed in that. I have a hard time going in the backyard and opening up my fuse box. I have a hard time taking out the recessed light bulbs in my uh, kitchen and bathroom. I have a hard time using my Roku remote control. Every time I use it, I have to put on glasses and consult the instructions. Sir, enjoy your compensation watch. It's all you're getting. You have failed to be a man. So I get it. I know why you want to wear a flying saucer on your wrist. Uh, Hey man, can I offer a rebuttal? Can I just defend myself for a second? Who are you to come in here and tell me I'm not a man? Who are you to just impose this Procrustean, narrow definition of manliness? There are other definitions of manliness. And when I find one, uh, I'll get back to you. And until next time, I'm out.